In this video I'm going to be replacing the CV axles on this 2007 GMC Sierra. So my course of action to get this CV axle out is to remove the axle nut. And on the inner part of the shaft, there are six bolts, which I'll show you there in a second. That's basically all that needs to be unbolted to get this shaft out. The trouble is there really isn't a whole lot of room to maneuver this thing and get it out. So in order for me to remove the CV axle, I'm gonna be removing the strut. So it's already a good thing that I need to remove this whole strut assembly. I have to replace the shock, so that's a good thing. But for this video, we're just gonna focus on getting the CV axle out and replacing it. To remove the axle nut cover, I'm just going to use a flat blade screwdriver, pry it in there and twist and pop that puppy out. These can be a booger to get out, but a little patience, it's just pressure fitted in. To get this axle nut off, I'm going to need a 35 millimeter socket, deep well. You'll see that I'm not going to be able to loosen this nut because the whole wheel moves. So to keep this thing from moving, it's pretty simple. I'm just gonna put this pry bar in here like this and use some physics to keep that wheel from turning. Science rules. Before I take this nut completely off, I'm gonna remove the socket because otherwise it's just gonna be stuck down in there and you won't be able to get it out very easy. There's a little washer in here as well. That's it, that's the only thing holding that CV axle in is that nut there. So the next thing I'm gonna do is remove these two 15 millimeter bolts from this lower part of the shock that connects it to the lower control arm. Oh. All right, to give myself a little bit of wiggle room to be able to move the lower control arm, I'm gonna loosen the bolt on the sway bar end link. I'm not gonna take it all the way off, I'm just gonna loosen it. I don't know, it, I may need to remove it all together, but for now I'm just gonna loosen it. Next, I'm gonna go after the bolts for the strut assembly. And above the tower, you can see there's three 18 millimeter bolts. I can get to them from here, but this wheel well cover uh, can kind of chew up your hands if you want. You can also get to it from up top. Just get a wrench with a few long extensions and you can loosen it from the top and save the wear and tear on your skin from the wheel well cover. On this nut in the back left corner, there's a little clip that goes on top of the nut that holds a wiring harness. Pry that off with a screwdriver. I'm gonna go ahead and remove two of them and leave one of them just barely on. So this thing's ready to come out. So I'm gonna use a little pry bar here and scoot that shock off the lower control arm. I left this nut right here on so that this thing didn't come flying out of here. I'm gonna brace it with this hand. Go ahead and remove this top nut. And lower it just a little bit. Tilt it. Now I have all kinds of room so that when I remove these six bolts off of this part of the CV axle, I can move this to the left, drop it, and yank it out. All right, the same physics is gonna come into play with removing these bolts around this inside of the CV axle. I'm gonna have to put this pry bar here to keep the wheel from spinning so I can have the pressure needed to break these bolts loose. So I'll remove that pry bar, spin this hub around. That way I can reach the other three. So this thing's ready to come out. So you can see that having that strut out of the way is definitely gonna make this CV axle come out so much easier. With this thing being jointed the way it is, there's some play. So I'm gonna pull this axle towards me and push down. So 
So this new hub, it's a Cardone product, part number 66-1430HD. I don't remember what I paid for it. I'll just put it right here. So I'm just gonna verify that these parts are identical. So this looks good. I'm gonna go slap it on the truck. All right, so I just took a minute to make sure the splines were clean and there's no big rust buildup or anything, so that looks good. So it's just gonna go in the reverse of how I took it out. Make sure the splines line up. There we go. Again, just pull back and lift and line up the bolt holes. So I just cleaned the threads up a little bit on these bolts, make sure that everything's good to go back in. So whenever I go to torque these down, I'll do it in the crossing pattern. All right, again with the physics, keeping the hub still. That way I can get my torque wrench on here and torque these down to 58 foot pounds. Washer on. Go ahead and start that axle nut. Once again with the physics. So I'm going to torque this axle nut to 177 foot pounds. Slide it down through like that. This little notch is going towards the engine, so I know I've got this oriented correctly. Slide this up. I'm going to go ahead and finger tighten one little nut on top of this front post so that we can hold that strut in place. So this is where loosening the sway bar end link uh, comes into play. I can push down on the suspension a little bit. So I'm going to use the hardware included in the new kit and slide that over these bolt holes. All right, so now I'm gonna take these two 15 millimeter bolts and start threading them, finger tighten these, and then we'll put the other two nuts on top of the strut tower. These ratcheting wrenches are so handy. It's true. Again, these are 18 millimeter bolts. All right, so everything's all buttoned up. The upper and lower bolts are torqued to 37 foot-pounds on the strut. I've tightened down the end link on the sway bar and oh, forgot the little cap for the wiring harness. I'm gonna put the dust cap back on. We're ready to put the wheel on and set this thing back down to earth. That's all there is to it to replace the CV axle on this 2007 GMC Sierra. So really the, overall this isn't a very difficult job. Jack out the truck and getting the strut out of the way really makes getting the CV axle in and out a breeze. And that whole strut assembly is really easy to take out. Three nuts on the top, two bolts on the bottom, and bada bing it's out. So finding the parts pretty cheap online and doing the work myself saved the owner of this vehicle quite a bit of money over taking it to a shop and paying shop rates. Well, if you found this video helpful, I appreciate a thumbs up. Check out the channel if it warrants your subscription. Hit that subscription button below. If you're interested in this t-shirt that I've got on, you can find that link in the description as well as in the thumbnails in the store below. And while you're down there, leave a comment if you like. And as always, thanks for watching. God bless. We'll see you next time.